Okay, Warriors, what's going on? We're back. We're playing some Final Fantasy. Now, I want to talk about some technical, more deeper aspects of Final Fantasy that I've found. So, I want to start off by talking about defend and attack cancelling. What I found is, if you see what I'm doing here, what I'm doing is I'm going attack, and then during the attack, I'm pressing the defend button. As you see, so I go attack, and then I press the defend. Let's look at the attack as in it's got zero start up, yeah, one is the middle, two is the end, zero, one, two. If you understand what I'm trying to say, so I will go zero, defend, zero, one, defend, zero, one, two, defend, or just defend. So I'll go zero, defend. There we go. Now we don't want to deal with these guys. Zero defend. Zero one to an option select. So every single time I do an attack, I press defend when I think an attack is coming in my peripheral vision or in my blind side. And it's an option select. So even there, it covers the parry as well to get your counter attacks. So I should say the start up is zero, right? So I'll go. Attack defend or attack defend or just defend or zero one defend zero one two defend. You understand? So I'm pressing the defend button at certain points of my attack. You're gonna see it a lot here. Attack defend. Attack defend. Attack defend. See that I missed the timing there, but I just got the um, normal defend. So you see, whenever I do it, I'm just going attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend. I'm always looking for the point to attack, but I'm always making myself safe by pressing the defend button when an attack is coming. Like you see that right here, I'm messing it. Hella up. <laughs> Denied. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I see a lot of what I'm doing is just attacking and defending and that's what I call it attack defending because I'm actually cancelling you're not actually cancelling the animation but during the attack you're pressing the defend button when you think an attack is about to fix you because there is no real audio or visual cues for these enemies attacks so technically you have to feel out when they're about to attack you if you understand my point. So yeah, that's why when I'm doing this, I want to... Because look, people are going to talk about a lot of material and superficial things about the game, which are extremely beautiful. But I want to look at the more deeper aspects of the combat of this game that I've managed to find so far, because there is a lot. See, that's why I wanted to break down for this part of the video, you know. So it's just explaining to you in the gist of this, attack and defending, and using them as one. I call it option select because you are actually defending within the attack frames. Attack defend. So yeah, that's really what I want to say about this video. I hope I've shown you something so you can understand the system a little bit more in depth. Okay, Warriors. Now, on to my next point of this video yes now this is part two of the video what I want to do is I want to show cross links and attack I found where you can actually get hit but get your life back during the initial point if you get hit so let's do this thing so if you see right there I actually got hit but if you press the defend button on the exact moment that you are in the hit animation, you will do like a like a body replacement technique, and you'll get all your life, you'll get a big chunk of your life and MP back. It's almost like what they have in Bayonetta. I don't, I can't remember what it's called, like back time or something like that, where you get hit and you turn into bats. This game has got the exact same thing, so you can actually take a hit and then press the defend button at that precise frame 
and then you will do like a body replacement and just get all your every, a lot of your life and empty back. It's really deep, like they're showing the layers towards the defense, parry, and counter aspect of this game. I love it. I love the depth and the actually system mechanics that they put into Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy is not a game that's well known for its in-depth system mechanics but if you play Kingdom Hearts then you know that this is something that they excel at so that's me talking about that and also it's another thing I want to address is crosslinks now right here I want to show you how I use audio cues to do my crosslinks I go right there I use the yellow aura like a yellow um, sphere that appears that hit there, right here. Now you have to wait for it until you see it. Don't be over anxious because the audio and the visual cues, they will come. Now right here, I'm trying to go for the level four. Today. Got him. <laughs> Let's go, get him boys. Yeah, so right there, I wanted to show you an example of all the techniques that I've been telling you about. The way you time your defense. How I use my audio cues Wow, I was actually going to pull it. Like, you use your audio cues or visual cues to maximize crosslinks, crossbones, cross strikes. You know, everyone's got their own denies. Like, right there, I actually press the attack button and then I press defense. Just to. Because, you know, once you learn a system, you can push the boundaries of it. So you kind of know the timing, but you have to be comfortable. I was comfortable doing it there because I could tell the timing of the attack that was coming at me. So yeah, this is a very important aspect of the game. I feel where you utilize attack and defending. Oh, I was focusing on the enemy that was dead. Gladio, my man, love you, baby. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. When I'm trying to show you um, attack, um, defend, cancelling, right here. How it's important to use it and why it's so important in battle. Because of the damage you get out of it. This attack is so damaging. That's the reason I use it, like, utilise it and I want to show you how important it is in battle. As well as cancelling the defend button. So all the things I'm telling you, it's not just theoretical or on paper. It's practical. I want to show you just two people doing crosslinks. Let's go to that. Okay, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I just want to show you how I use the attack, like right there. That's when I use the attack defending. This is when I use attack defending. I'll try to do attack and then defend Harry here. But you know, think about what code was. But it's alright. We should get it. Oh, here we go. Let's get him. Let's get him. So here we go. I want to show you a extended sequence of using cross chains. Let's go. Boom. Now if you see, I'm using the, um, the visual cue of the yellow spear that appears. There's various ones that like when you see him attacking, or when they go, Hur! or when you hear the do. You can use the, I use, because I'm good at visuals, some people may be good at audios, and some, it's all what makes you comfortable. As you see, I'm trying to get it as much as I can possibly. Now here, I'm going for the level 4. You know when it's the level 4, you can't go any further, when... You're, there we go. Got him. That's the level four. Level four crossbones. Got him. See how much, and that enemy's got a lot of life. So the fact that I basically, I practically killed him using one cross chain attack shows you how important it is. The one reason that you see me do, I'll do Zwielander, and then at the last bit, I'll jump. I'll jump cancel the last frame and do I'll jump a jump with attack with the spear is because of the amount of damage. You get a lot of damage from that. So well, that's what I really wanted to show you from this video. Showing the cross chains, attack defend cancelling and linking your normal slashes. Okay Warriors, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching and also my next video where I break down more system of Final Fantasy 15. Stay blessed, thank you for watching and yeah, take care man. Okay, I'll leave you with this.